My life shall touch a dozen lives before this day is done. Leave countless marks for good or ill, it sets the evening sun. This is the wish I always wish, the prayer I always pray. Lord, may my life help others' lives, it touches by the way. This is the uh, first official swim since Ian passed away. And we scattered some of Ian's ashes in the water last year. So he's out there forever and a day with you guys looking over you. And, as you know, this was his legacy. He wanted to be remembered, but he also wanted to make sure that other people knew about MND and the shit that it is and what it does to everybody. So, you know, thank you everyone for coming. Okay, um, you, uh, you don't. At the end of the first swim, the comment was made should we make it an annual event? And in 2014, the swim became the Ian Pratt MD Challenge. Because I got, off, got the first swim off and I was the first swimmer to start in 2013, I want to be the first to get in the water and start this, this year. It was of massive significance to me and Ian and Catherine, so that's what I want to do. So the uh, swim, this was something he looked forward to every year and uh, he was so proud because it was doing some amazing things, raising money for the foundation, raising awareness for our foundation and he was just so proud that people would come together to do this event and swim across the, the Solent Four in his name as such and he loved greeting everybody as they came out of the water and getting a s selfie with them and it was it was emotional every year for him and he you know this was the highlight of his year. This this was everything to Ian this swim and uh, he would come down no matter which time he would come down and he'd greet the swimmers um, and he was so proud he was so so proud of it. Um, God, I'm, yeah. I'm incredibly proud. I've, I've come down from, I've come down from London to, to kind of show my support for Catherine and Georgiana and Ian. Um, and um, yeah, and it's just this is just incredible. And it's just fantastic that Ian's remembered. It's, it's grateful Georgiana to remember how much her dad was loved by other people, people that, that she doesn't see every day because we don't live close by. But she knows that her dad was well regarded and respected. Uh, emotional weekend and emotional few days, and because we knew how much this swim meant to him and to have people coming from all over the country to do the swim is absolutely amazing. He'll be so impressed with everything, with what, what Tony's done and uh, he, he's brought the weather, he's brought a nice calm crossing so he'll be up there having a swim with a beer looking down us all and wishing everyone all the swimmers and the kayak as well so yeah he's uh, yeah. yeah he put the weather, on put the weather on for us yeah Having Ian's name on this swim means everything to me. It's because of him my uncle got to his first MND event. He got to see it's not just him that's going through it and I got to meet these people that are now my family. And that's the legacy that Kim and Ian have left behind. They brought me a whole new family. Tony introduced me to Ian on that second year of swimming and um, had a big effect, big effect on me because Ian's that sort of person, obviously when I met him that time he was a lot more communicating and, and obviously to do the swim now even though Ian has passed it's still it's his legacy and his family and, and if we can bring strength to his family then that's what's important. He was always very aware, sadly, of um, his mortality. It was a legacy. It was something that he can pass on for others, that he could help people while he was alive as well, to enhance their lives through this horrible, insidious MND. And of course, it was meeting all the MND family, because we are a family. The swimmers, the kayakers, the supporters, everybody. It is just the most awesome thing ever. 
Um, and the way it's going to carry forward is the fact that we know that we carry him in our hearts. We carry Catherine and Mouse, we take care of them. And it just means that he's still with us, which he is anyway, and always will be. Thank you very much for swimming for us and good luck. If you want to do the swim in the future, it's a great cause, a great charity, and it may be that you're doing it for personal reasons or that MND has touched your lives as well. And we look after you as part of the family and you know, kayakers, swimmers in the water. Thank you so much. These two guys here have come and taken us. So these guys here, thank you very much. Nice yeah. yeah. The guys in, at Lightning Rebel, without these guys, we couldn't do it. So thank you so much. It means a lot. It means a lot to Catherine and Georgiana and myself and my wife Sarah and everybody in this group. It, it means so well to us and we'll, we'll carry on doing it. We'll just carry on doing it for Ian and other people living with MNT and uh, all the angels and warriors that we wear the wristbands for. All you've got to do is look at the weather, look at the swim, look at the Solent um, and it'll just inspire anybody to come and want to do this in a few years. Uh, I know one of the guys who I know who's come down from London today is already thinking about it for next year. It's the best thing you can do. Do it. It changes your life. Change it. Do it. And you know, it immortalises Ian. He lives on. He'll be here forever. He would love that. Yeah. He would have this big grin on his face. He would just absolutely love it. To register for a swim, go to swimminthesolent4mnd.com. Click subscribe to find out more about the Ian Pratt Engineering Disease Foundation and watch more videos of Swimming the Solent on our channel. We hope you will be able to join us in raising awareness very soon.